Hello everybody, I'm Derek Tevers. This is your Farming Sim 15 Mod Spotlight in Beyond Home Land of Crop and Tree. Land of attempting to do chippers. Anyway, we have... I know this is going to shock you. I know this is going to completely shock you, but we have a chipper today. <laughs> I'm still determined to find a chipper I like. We have the Ponzi Buffalo with Chipper. Woo, 180,055 a day to uh, to uh, maintain. Yeah, so let's buy that guy. But that's not it. I was like, you know what? I've been doing way too much forestry. Way too much forestry. So I found some tractors. A couple of Fint 828 Varios. One's got twin wheels. One does not. You pay an extra 2,700 for twin wheels. They are otherwise identical, at least from this looking. So let's just buy both of them in case they're different. Buy that. And they come with weights. So you got two weights. Um, they look identical, but uh, yeah, let's buy them. Let's buy that one, and then let's buy that one. Cool. Now let's go get them. Woo, there they are. <laughs> All right, the weights are indeed identical looking. Actually, are they? I think this one's wider. That's all I got. All right, tractor. <laughs> I do like how in, in Farm Sim 15, it's just the most random stuff you walk over. What in the world? Uh-oh. <laughs> I thought I was stuck. <laughs> Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. So instead of a clip problem, the farm uh, giant fixed it by just making you walk over things like a freak. Yeah. All right. So now we have this guy here for loading. Looks like it's got a pretty big bed back there. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Let's, uh, let's start with the Ponzi here. What's buzzing? I don't know. Let's start the engine. It'll quiet it. All right. So we got the buffalo. Turn all. Ooh, camera view. Yay. There's a camera view. We'll actually be able to see what in the blazes is going on. Turn on and pipe out of the two options. Cool. All right. Other than that, it's it feels a little bit like a regular buffalo. It feels a little bit heavier, though. I think it's pretty well done. I mean, I I, uh, I might say, you know, it would be really great mod authors if you maybe color the the gens the same as the Ponzi. But I don't know. I don't know. Oh, look, a light's on. Oh, that's wonderful. All right, so we're going to take this guy up the hill here. And uh, see what we can see about this chipper working. If this chipper works, uh, it'll be a beautiful day. It will be a beautiful day in the neighborhood. I, I'm not holding out much hope, mind you. I do think that this one would be difficult to deal with um, heavy logs to the left and to the right because there are no stabilizer bars. And while I'll, the Ponzi is a heavy piece of equipment, I don't think it's that heavy piece of that much of a heavy piece of equipment. I think it would actually suffer from having uh, having the crane too far out to one side. So it's almost like something that you would. Um, you want to load a trailer, maybe, and bring a trailer up to the back of it, perhaps? Hold on, I just had a thought. No. It's a little bit tall for that trailer, but you could, theoretically... Um, let's not hit that. Uh, you could, theoretically, just pull a trailer up to the back. Alright. Let's go with going over here. 
go right there. So, bar thingamajiggy out. Okay, so that's out. Internal camera. Woo! Crane camera. Now, is that a crane camera? It is not a crane camera that you can look around with. So, it's using the um, the style from the, the trailer, the $55,000 trailer. Uh, you get used to it, but it is annoying. Oh, my gosh. They reversed the crane. What? What is it with people reversing the stuff? Ugh. I know these things because I've spent so much time working on these cranes that it's like, uh... Alright. Close that. Yeah, you can tell the Ponzi just does not... Does not like being all the way out to the side like that. Alright. I think I've turned the sucker on. I have turned it on. So, let's pull that in. Put this in. No, that's putting it in the ground. Nope, that's not helping. What's going on? What? Oh. All right. Uh, there. Ugh. No, this direction. Okay. Getting it. Getting it. Struggling a bit. Okay. Keep going. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's working. Perhaps better. What? Okay. <laughs> wow. That actually worked. Ooh, what about this? This big. I can't even see it when I'm in the crane. All right, let's get this. This big thing right here. Other direction. Oh my goodness, people. And they're inverting the controls. <laughs> uh, maybe I'm crazy. Maybe they haven't inverted the controls, but it certainly feels like it. Uh, up and turn. Nope, there, nope, there, all right. Camera zoom out. Okay. Oh my gosh. Look at it, it is. That is awesome. I've noticed it's not shooting wood chips anywhere. But I don't care. It just wood chipped that thing. Oh, the Ponzi Buffalo. 2.5% wood. I have wood chips on board. Hold on. So if I were to get close to him. Ah, so I can take wood chips. On, get, get out of the way, man truck. Thank you. Things I have just learned. So if I, oh, that's actually really cool. So it stores a bunch of wood chips on board. Shut up, spinny thingy. End engine. Okay, so the downside is that annoying high pitched noise when you're inside the truck. But this thing just did better as a wood chipper than any wood chipper we've used before. <gasps> we might've found a wood chipper. Okay, let's go look at the tractors we bought. <laughs> interior. It's interior-y. We have a soda. Soda. I don't... I, I understand the double wheels, but I just don't need them. Do we still have a soda? We still have a soda. Let's start the tractor. Jeez, that scared me. That's a lot of tractor. It's a lot of tractor noise. Wow. That tractor gets a turn down. Wow. My mirrors do not work in this tractor. Just be aware of that. Get a nice 62 is what the top speed is. I did learn to read that, by the way. 
So the your top speed is actually listed by the ES limiter, which is, you know, cool. Okay, we got a front weight. Let's look at how that looks. What is... Okay. Um, I'm mostly okay with that, I think. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Now, we are going to buy the old fertilizer spreader. The old PTO on the front test. And back. Front and back. So let's test it out. Make sure the PTO shaft looks good. That's looking good. Yeah. That looks pretty good. Nice. All right. Drop that off. Turn her around. Okay, now, how are we looking? We're looking good. We're looking good. All right, drop that off. Push it out of the way, apparently. All right. Now, I'm going to hire a worker and have a worker do some work. As we're coming up here, we're going to test beacon. And it works. Yay! Good. All right. We have uh, 400 liters of fuel is what we started with. We got good exhaust look to this truck. Uh, tractor. I was going to call it a truck, and then I was going to call it a tractor, and then I forgot what it was. All right, let's grab this thing, because... Really? Here, just move out of the way so that I can actually pick you up, please. Thank you. Okay, we have it attached. Good. Now we're going to hire the worker, make sure he actually does his job properly. But it looks like we might have found a good starting tractor. Now, I do not know, and I won't know, at least for a bit, if this tractor gets dirty. If it does not get dirty, then obviously, you know, there's some downsides. But I'll know by the time this field is done if this tractor has a dirty script on it. We'll just have to hope that it does. Looks like the hired worker is going to use it quite nicely. Very nice, hired worker. Very nice. Alright, so what I'll do is I will let the hired worker run. And when he finishes the field, we'll come back and we will uh, look at... Wow, it just like dies. Okay, so that's one problem. There's no, the, the sound cone isn't a fade out, it's a dead. Like, it just disappears. Uh, but we'll wait, uh, we'll come back when he finishes the field to see if the tractor is dirty. The tractor should be, well, that's not necessarily true because look at this guy. This guy did a field himself. And he's barely dirty really sure why that is, but that is barely dirty. Let's see. Does this thing even look like it's getting the least bit dirty? Uh, not sure. Okay, I don't understand. The script on the, on the case seems to be lame. When you compare it to the the uh, starting tractor, ugh. The starting tractor, it gets dirty like immediately, like a field work. All right, but we'll come back just to see if it's dirty. All right, here he comes, finishing up his pass. I don't think there's all like a dirt on that tractor. I'm just saying. Now, it might be, and I was thinking about this. It might very well be that the tractors don't get dirty when the hired help drives them because that could explain why that case over there is not dirty. There is not a bit of dirt on this tractor. 
So that would could explain why that case is barely dirty, where the other tractors that I've been using are very dirty. Could be that tractors just don't get dirty when hired help drive them, which is kind of weird, but there you go. Either way, the Vario Fent Var, uh, 8, what is it, 828? Yeah, the Fent 828 Vario Pack. Uh, you get the single wheel and double wheel. Yes, I know these have probably been converted from 13, but yeah, I needed another vehicle. And then we had the, let me get over there. There we go. We had the Ponzi chipper. It is a chipper that works. Yay! It chipped a big thing that came out of the thing. So it's it's a good chipper. I like it. Um, it is a bit expensive at the point that you're pay that you pay for this thing. You, yeah, I don't know, but it's something to consider. It is a chipper that is apparently working, which is better more, more than we can say that for most of the chippers. All right, there we go. I've been Dirt Tarper. This has been your farming simulator. Fifteen mod spotlight. We had the Ponzi chipper and we had the Fent eight two eight Vario tractors. Until next time. Happy farming, everybody.